All right. This has been a very long time. Let's see what I can do. Let's see what I can do. My neighbors seem to be making quite a lot of noise. Can't complain because mostly I'm the one. All right, so let's begin. Learning is hard. You're not surprised about that, are you? Through the years, I've tried out many different tactics. If you're into this kind of topic, then you've certainly already heard of some of them before. You can look up how to make effective notes by Thomas Frank. You can start using Anki for creating memory cards. Anki, from the Japanese word for memorization, is a free flashcard program that uses space repetition, the technique used for building fast and long-lasting memories. You can use Pomodoro technique for time management and place your kitchen timer to manage your concentration span and so many more techniques. But wait, sometimes your head just feels too full. It feels like there's no room for a little extra knowledge you try to get in that brain of yours. Your neurons are firing day and night trying to keep up with all the information you feed it, but nothing sticks. I might have the solution for you. With the next technique, you will get back on track. Hi, I'm Michael Figured, and thank you for viewing this video. If you enjoy content like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. It will help me grow it. The brain is a magnificent thing. I've only become more convinced of that because of the book The Brain That Changes Itself by Norman Doidge. The general idea from the book is that the brain is more flexible or plastic than you might ever think. In the not-so-distant past, people thought that the brain was a fixed thing. They believed that each space in the brain was reserved for a certain function. Once that area was damaged, there was no way for the function in that part of the brain to ever come back, even in the slightest amounts. Luckily, that has been proven wrong. But what is learning actually? Learning on the level of the brain means that connections between neurons get stronger or created. You can see these connections as roads, or even better, highways. Signals between neurons can travel of speeds up to 435 kilometers an hour, or 270 miles per hour for my non-metric friends. Okay, so when you learn, these roads get made better or new ones get created. But what if there's already so many roads? It could get hard at some point, even for the brain to make a new one or strengthen existing ones. The most efficient way to learn new things is to unlearn first. As you can imagine, even harder than learning is the unlearning of stuff. Ever try to unremember a memory or try to unlearn how to ride a bike? Yeah, you get what I'm getting to. There is a very good event that will enable the unlearning of stuff though. And that's love. What? How does that work? No worries, we'll get to that. Love is intense. Everyone that has ever experienced it will know what I'm talking about. Your whole body chemistry changes and you start to behave differently. You become like an addict of sorts. When separated from your lover, you get anxious. You lose your energy and you start to doubt yourself. FMRI scans, scans that show brain activity by detecting changes in blood flow, show that when people look at images of loved ones, a part of the brain with great concentrations of dopamine is activated. It looks like they just did cocaine. Little shots of dopamine are given when you get a message from them. Like every addict, you build up tolerance though. More and more is needed to get the same level of happiness. And once the novelty of romance wears off, you're back to zero. Love makes your brain very receptive to change. It allows you to unlearn negative experiences. It acts like an eraser for your brain. How cool is that? Unlearning is a necessary step to enable your brain to make new memories and learn. When in love, your brain releases oxytocin. It reinforces bonding in mammals. In male mammals, men for humans, it also releases vasopressin. Becoming a parent can be a stressful experience. At least that's what my parents told me. A lot of people are unsure beforehand if they will be able to handle the responsibilities that come with it. Oxytocin makes sure your brain regains the plasticity so you're able to learn and free up the space to learn how to handle this experience. This hormone can wipe out learned behavior. Therefore, it's called an amnestic hormone by some scientists. The heightened plasticity of your brain allows you to learn new things. So next time you really want to learn new information, the easiest way to prepare your brain is to fall in love. That's easier said than done. Definitely. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw and want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. It should be the button somewhere below, I guess. Talk to you in the next one. Bye.